You ready, sir? Let's go, fight! Here we go! Matt Mitrion, the southpaw in the black trunks. And Brendan Mitrion. Schaub in the green trunks. Matt Mitrion said, we ain't touching gloves. Brandon put his hands up. Matt said, nope. They were jawing at the weigh-ins yesterday. And Mitrion, as normal, takes a southpaw stance. Again, he likes to throw that hard right jab, that inside leg kick. And Brandon Schaub has a very nice straight right. Mitrion has his mentor. Former longtime training partner, Chris lights out Lytle in his corner again tonight, as always. Mitrion caught him with the right hand there, grazed him. Mitrion feels me. he's the better athlete. Shaw Shaw did. caught him with the yep. right hand, grazed him. This, this fight is one swing away from being over Shaw, either way. Shaw caught him with the left, but he was wide open for the counter, and it barely missed. Chin not tucked at all. Hands not up high. Mitrion has heavy kicks, Joe, but will he use them? There you see he does. Oh, yeah. He likes that inside leg kick, and he's very good at pushing off. Didn't know if he might hesitate because of the possibility of a takedown for Brendan Schaub. You know, I was wondering whether Schaub would have a speed advantage because he's a lighter guy, but it doesn't appear that he does. Mitrion's a great athlete. He really is. I mean, really underrated athlete. For a guy that big, he can move. It's just that, you know, you're, you're looking at a guy who's as 35 years of age is, you know, just a few years into his MMA career and, as you said, fought all of them inside the UFC. And he's cut over his left eye. And it happened from the accidental headbutt. Shot with a, a big, big right hand. hand. And he cut Mitrion with that punch. Mitrion still walking forward, throwing some kicks now. Mitrion's talking to him, too. Schaub looking for the takedown, can't get it. Schaub has the third highest takedown average amongst heavyweights. And he really throws a lot towards the head. Mitrion has the third most knockdowns in heavyweight history. Love to get one here. The midway point around round one. Mitrion's been really tightening up his striking at the Black Zillion camp. There's a nice inside leg kick again. It pushes off, avoids the takedown. He's training with Henry Hoost, top striking coach from Holland, who's the Black Zillion striking coach. Able to block that overhand right there. And you see that, you know, that Dutch style and all of those fighters from that Black Zillion camp are implementing. Shop trying to use movement. Mitrion trying to cut him off. Shop pushes forward with a big combination. Wild combination by Shaw. Mitrion able to cover up. those shots. And there's the takedown attempt. He's got his hands clasped together. Boom! And he's got, got him down. Nicely done by Brendan Shaw. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu brown belt under a Maul Easton. Mitrion was very vocal, saying, you want to fight on the ground, I'm good here. But we will find out Mitrion. now that Schaub has top position. Trapping the head and arm. Trying to pass the guard here. Mitrion able to get out to the feet, though, but Brennan getting a hold of the neck. Looking for a choke here, he's got Trying it! To finish he's it. got it! Can he lock it in? That is tight! He says he's okay. Oh, he's not okay. He's going out. He's got a deep darts here, Mike. Deep. He's he's out. Hit is all over. Outstanding Brendan job. Outstanding job by Brendan Schaub. And that is what we said. That if this fight went to the ground, that Brendan Schaub would have an advantage is his submission ability. He's a brown belt under Amal Easton, who's one of the top jiu-jitsu instructors in the country. And he puts Mitrion to sleep.